The next team is called the team for evolution from Taltec and will present to you their solution for better decarbonizing in the building sector. The stage is yours. Wonderful. Thanks a lot. Uh, we're for evolution and we are empowering energy efficiency for everyone. So at the current rate of renovation, the EU is at risk of missing its target of decarbonizing the housing sector by 2050. And from the perspective of homeowners, this is not really a surprise. I mean, I myself wouldn't really know how to renovate my home, whom to contact. I might not even have the time, definitely don't have the financial resources yet. And also the supply chain behind the, um, behind the construction industry is very scattered. All different actors are rather disintegrated. So enter for evolution. Um, we are an end-to-end -end platform. What does that mean? We facilitate investments through crowd crowdfunding. We facilitate the whole process from planning over um, well, managing the renovation to also maintaining uh, renovation. Um, and also the repayment scheme is very innovative in our case because it's not a classic or conventional bank loan. What we do is we use an on-bill scheme where the difference between uh, the utility bills before your renovation and afterwards, after your renovation, so this difference will be used to pay back um, uh, the energy efficiency renovations um, that we implemented in your home. So how does it work from a perspective of the homeowner? We built this pilot, um, um, just a very simple user interface, and it's actually very simple and very user-friendly. You just simply, in the first step, uh, enter your address. Um, we connected our platform to the Estonian Housing Registry. We retrieve information on your building. Um, and then, based uh, on our automated and data-based uh, tool, um, we suggest different renovation options, energy efficiency renovation options. In this case, for instance, you could apply for a heat pump. Um, from the perspective of the investor, because remember, we're also facilitating this for a crowd investment platform, um, you can just simply go to our website as well, select different renovation options, select different projects, and then simply invest. So, why us? Actually, we are end-to-end -end efficiency platform, and uh, the customer doesn't care about anything. I, uh, we do everything from the beginning to the end, and uh, we, we even care for the governmental supports. And also, we are not a conventional loan. Uh, we are on bill scheme, as he mentioned, and uh, also we make finances uh, accessible for everyone. So the investors can invest on green and social investment opportunities, and the households can get the loan or the finance uh, with the uh, 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 bill payment history. Uh, then. Uh, our feasibility also confirmed by some uh, testimonies from our main shareholders through some interviews with utility companies, the renovation experts, and on mill project. And we even get uh, monetary supports uh, from uh, one of the projects in Europe on bill uh, scheme. And uh, the impact is uh, the both uh, uh, environmental, social, and economic. Uh, 30 to 40 percent carbon reduction uh, will be uh, managed by uh, each renovation project, and also we make this uh, uh, process accessible for everyone, and we build new re revenue streams for every stakeholders. So how do we want to well, make this vision come true? How do you want to go to the market? So what are the next steps for us? Um, in the coming stage, in the seed stage, we want to develop the platform and also establish partnerships with potential stakeholders. For instance, in Estonia, we have already established um, potential partnerships with a utility company, and also there was a European uh, on-bill scheme uh, that was run by the European Commission, and also with them we have already been in contact. In the then following stage, in the validation stage, we want to launch a pilot project in which we hope to uh, implement eight uh, renovation projects by the end of 2024, um, and also validate our concept and the workflows within. Um, later on, uh, we have a, a, an admittedly ambitious target of um, well, securing up to 500,000 euros in crowd investments, through which we could then facilitate 50 projects per year um, at an average uh, interest rate to the homeowner of 7%. So we are uh, a team of uh, two PhD students in smart cities, architecture, design, and governance, as well as one platform developer, and as any good startup, obviously also a dog. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Um, thanks for your time. Come and join us in, uh, in our journey to empowering energy efficiency for everyone.
Now I'm a little bit confused. The dog is the fourth part of the team or a third part? Uh, if anything, the CEO is definitely the most important part. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm asking if you have a third person. No, actually. unfortunately not. Right. Phil is not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, can we get the questions from the jury? Great, thank you. Can you just please uh, bring some concrete examples on how you are going to establish those partnerships that you so heavily rely on? On paper it looks very easy, but how are you actually Ooh. planning to do it? It is indeed rather complicated, and I will show a very complex this is a slide there indeed. So, um, what, who are the stakeholder groups? We need contractors, we possibly also need auditors, uh, we need utility companies to facilitate the whole process. Um, and also we need uh, crowd investors, and we obviously also need uh, the homeowners in the end. So how are we going to comply in that? It's really a platform-based um, design, and we're actually taking some inspiration from the European Onbill scheme that we actually already mentioned. It was a pilot project run by the European Commission. Um, and what they did, they really had um, just one-to-one -one connections. For instance, they, um, they run this pilot project in different, diff uh, different countries. For instance, in Spain, um, they had one contract with a utility company. Um, they had a very small pilot area. Then they had uh, one or two contracts with contractors. So it was a very, um, it was a very um, let's say, bottom-up uh, approach where they really had these connections, they really build these connections. So for us, it will really be a process of trying to replicate it, trying to really build these one-on-one -on -one connections. Obviously, it's a very complex um, approach. We are fully aware of that. Um, but still, once we have set this up, we believe that we can really generate value for everyone in, the, uh, in, the, in this chain. But just in five seconds, one concrete example. In five seconds, with a utility company, we go to them, we ask for the customer base, for instance. We ask whether they want to generate revenue based on the customer base, um, and we will then leverage their... Um, and if their they're not interested? Um, pardon? And if they're not interested? Then we need to move to the next one. I mean, <laughs> obviously, we, luckily, we have already spoken to someone from Esti and Agir, actually. Um, so, yeah, so we know there is some interest and there is some potential. Okay. Um, I recently saw how a renovation like this in a home worked. And basically, a guy comes to the home and says, oh, you can do these things. And you look at, like, what's the price? And you pick and select whether you can afford them or want them and what's the impact. Hmm. Um, I really believe in the funding scheme uh, that you can, if you cannot afford it, that you can go to crowdsourcing and get the impact. But I don't know why you, can you explain to me why you want to replace that person by a system who will connect to all those different things. What's the benefit in that? Yeah, um, so there, is, there are sort of two sides to it. One side is that in the end of the day, we still probably need an auditor who really goes there and sees, okay, what makes sense. Um, this might be until we get to the fully, uh, fully automated state. But still, um, the, also, we actually linking our data or like our platform to another database which is currently being developed in my research center. Um, we, um, and they are developing um, sort of like a tool that tries to understand, uh, they, they have a database of I don't know how many uh, renovation options, it's thousands, and they really try to understand, okay, which is the best for which housing type. So we're trying to tap into that information and that already allows us to already have an automated, uh, automated process. What's the benefit of it? Um, I mean, many uh, homeowners, for instance, they are not really encouraged or they are perhaps even quite anxious to engage in a renovation process. They don't have the legal knowledge, they don't have the legal advice, and so on and so forth. So we are trying to make it more accessible and try to reduce the steps as much as possible, also by integrating the funding scheme. Um, this is something that usually if you go to a bank, um, it's an extra step. Plus, on top of that, I mean, advertisement that say you can, get a, uh, you can get a bank loan at an interest rate of 4% are probably for those who have a quite good payment history, but they're definitely not accessible to anyone. So really reducing the accessibility thresholds and trying to make, us, make it as accessible as possible. We had one minute left. All right. So last question. <laughs> well, just could you tell us an example of uh, a working cooperation with, within the, that system? Um, just a problem solved, for example, for a real customer? Okay, yeah, obviously. Um, so, for instance, I'm a homeowner. I, um, I know, for instance, that all over Europe, especially in Germany, heat pumps are a quite debated topic right now. I want to install a heat pump, um, but I don't really know where to start. So you can come to our platform, try to understand, okay, does a heat pump even make sense? 
do I want to have a heat pump? Does it make financial sense as well? And we will try to walk you through the process and try to um, offer something that is really accessible and um, feasible for you. So yeah, this could be, for instance, one case um, of, of how it could work, the platform. So, so far is virtual. Pardon, what was that? So far is a virtual case. Um, yeah, there will be a virtual case. Thank you. Yeah. Right, that's it. Thank right. you very much. This Thanks. was the 4Evolution team.